Today, we share our beautiful holiday cottage on the south coast of Cornwall with you in a very special and unique location. We show you what products we bought in a Cornish shop and last but not least, have a wander around beautiful Falmouth. We made it to Cornwall. Yeah, we made it. And it's very windy, but lovely. Yes, it's lovely. It's been so hot and here it's like we have 22 degrees Celsius yeah. and I'm enjoying it so yeah, much. it's really, really refreshing. It is. And can you see the beautiful building behind us? So, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> we are at Pendennis Castle. Yes, so, and we are staying in an English heritage holiday cottage. Yeah, the name Callis Cottage. Yeah. And yeah, we want to show you around. We just arrived and... Yeah, we're just settling in. Yeah, we will just unpack, but I love it already. Yeah, we've, been here, we've been here 25 years ago. Yeah, we will tell you more once yeah. we're inside, I think. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Callie's cottage and we are here right by the sea. Let's go inside. Yeah, there's some of my dresses. <laughs> This is the name of the cottage, Callie's Cottage, and here we have dining room and living room. And here's the kitchen. I really love the windows here. They are wonderful. So here's the kitchen. And it has two bedrooms. This would be so perfect for my parents. So this is the bedroom we are staying in. going to say let me see I mean you can see and then his castle and there is a second bedroom <laughs> you know it's actually this is not not small the cottage no, is actually big. it's quite big yeah so this is the second bedroom with two single beds. There you are. And the bathroom, let me find it. That's here. All oh, right, I can see it now. It's a separate toilet and this is the bathroom. Wow, it's getting really, really windy. Some of you might remember our trip to Ortley End last year and how it was cut short. We booked a cottage on the Ortley End estate and had to leave after 24 hours because there was there was something wrong with the cottage. There was a smell and it smelled like oil, like it was coming from a leaking oil tank or something. Yeah, we left and then we talked to English Heritage and they offered us a complimentary stay. And I think they don't have a lot of cottages, but yeah, we could choose the place we we liked and we love Cornwall and Pendennis Castle is, it was our very first trip to England. So this feels very, very special. And we also got a hamper Scones for Jörg, bread, marmalade, Cornish gingerbread, some wine, what a fun name, Quirky Bird applies to me as well, and I think that's a card game, interesting. 
on our way down here, we stopped in Truro. Yeah. Truro. Always reminds me of Paul Dark, by the way. Yeah. He always went into Truro. Yeah. <laughs> but not into Waitrose. No, no, I think it wasn't in Waitrose. <laughs> so we stopped at Waitrose to buy some things and a very big Waitrose, right? Yes, yeah, so a Waitrose supermarket. Yeah, and they have another shop inside that only sells Cornish produce. Yeah, it's, uh, it's called the Great Cornish Food Store. It's amazing. Yeah. It's such a beautiful shop. Yes, it was nice. And we shot some Cornish products all made here. Yeah. And we just wanted to share. I think we've got yeah. some amazing things. Um, tea cakes. Tea cakes. Yeah. Cornish. We never tried that one. So that's Cornish tea smugglers brew. Yeah. So that should be great. And then we have... Okay. Eggs. Eggs, right. Natural yogurt. Cornish love yogurt, yes. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Classic Cornish clotted cream fudge. You have to have fudge here. Yes. This is some cheese. Yeah, Cornish cheese. Called the truffler. Man, some Cornish spreadable. Spread. Yeah, fantastic. And we bought this chocolate called Josh's Chocolate, and they have amazing packaging. Yeah, that looks nice. So this is really, really lovely. And yeah, I yeah. bought some Bacchus. Yeah, and it's a Cornish wine. Wow, that's interesting. That yeah. should be good. That's a really interesting. So I chose the white wine. Yeah. Because I think the white wines are better. In general? No, or the white wines uh, in Cornwall. Because, no, because the red wines need more sun. But uh, do, did they have Cornish red wines? Yes, there was a red. Really? But, but usually you get... The white something, I think, I believe, are much better. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't need that much sun. Yeah. Because the whites and the whites are always a bit, let's say, dry. Yeah. No? I I don't have a clue, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm really interested because it says Bacchus. Yeah. Which, Bacchus, which is a special kind of ring. Yes, I shared that already. So there's plenty of food. That's a nice name, Quirky Bird. I know. What You know what I just said? applies to me as well yeah <laughs> so yeah let's put it in the fridge yeah oh no we bought milk we are so stupid yeah. there's more clotted cream we bought butter yeah oh, we are so stupid because okay. this is actually that's a really good one yeah that's such a good brand and clotted cream so i need some scones mm-hmm See, that's actually, it's from the same shop. Yeah. <laughs> so, someone was shopping at Waitrose. Well, next to Waitrose. Yeah. So, <laughs> we want to go for a little walk here. And we now basically have the place to ourselves. This is our cottage and we are right next to the sea. And the house, as you can see, this is Falmouth. And it has a gorgeous harbour as well. And there are more buildings. I think over there somewhere is another cottage that you can rent. It's for two people. And here's the cafe and also the shop. And yeah, it's closed now. It's 7.30. It's really quiet.
by standing in front of the so-called Tudor Gun Tower, which was built during the reign of King Henry VIII. Yes. Yeah, it was part of his coastal defense system. So he built a lot of these kind of small fortresses yeah, along the coastline. I mean, when you see it nowadays, it, of course it makes sense, but to, yeah. me, to me it's just a stunning location. Yes, but it was important to, let's say, protect the harbor. Of course, yeah. And now seeing that after 25, 26 yeah. years, it just comes back. Yeah, and it hasn't changed much. No, not at all. No. But the thing is, like, when you come back to places after so many years, memories come back. Yeah. And Our first holiday in the UK. Yes. Can you believe it? Yeah. And now we live here and it feels... It feels weird. It, feel, it feels, I don't know, surreal. Yeah. Very, very surreal. Yeah. And to have this place now to ourselves. It's who would have thought what? That's great. <laughs> now we've got our own castle. Our own at least fort. We've got, at least we've got it to take for us. Yeah, so th that's really great. Like when you stay at places like that, you can just enjoy that. Like yeah. when, when the people have left, yeah. you can explore. At, not not everything because, I mean, buildings A lot of things are, closed, are closed. But still, it's wonderful. Yeah, you to, can enjoy the views. Exactly. And it's wonderful. Yeah. I love it so pretty isn't it also the weather today is perfect especially here this place is 280 miles from where we live and when we left this morning we left at eight o'clock and it was 30 degrees by 10 10 a.m and i was i started complaining already because it's been so muggy all week and we looked at cornwall yesterday and this area particularly of course and it's at 21 degrees and we got so excited because it feels wonderful so nice for a change and especially beautiful because we are right next to the sea so yeah I got really excited about it This is Falmouth. Have we ever visited the centre? Because I don't remember. No, no. We haven't. We, didn't. we just came here yeah. and visited the castle. A beautiful good morning, my darling. Good morning. And a beautiful good morning to you as well. Yeah, good morning. So it's Saturday morning and Jürgen and I thought we would explore Pandanus Castle some more because now it's it's open and we go and see the spots yeah. we just want to see. And then we're going to head downwards to Falmouth. Yeah. Yeah. To explore the harbour. Exactly. So, yeah, it's dry now and to me now it's actually perfect. So, yeah. fingers crossed it stays that 18 way. 18 degrees, light I, wind, I just like what it. we want. Exactly. I really like it. Really shiny guns. I see a lot of cannons. This one has a Tudor reptile. Yeah. So it's... Mm. It does. And it says here, it's called the Seika. And I don't know if I really pronounced it the right, right way. And it's from the late 16th century. Yeah. Mm. This one was <laughs> on a ship. Yeah. No, I was just laughing about the size. Well, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. And also makes sense. It's called a stubby gun. Yeah. Yeah. And the one you're standing next to just somehow reminds me of Star Wars. So, Jörg and I have been together for 33 yeah. years, but he just taught me something I didn't know. I'm a trained 40 millimeter gunner. Now, when I was a draft in the German Navy, I was trained on a 40 millimeter. Okay, yeah. and how long did this training take? It was in my basic training. Right. Or part of my basic training. Yeah, that's interesting. And then on the ship. Yeah, there's a tunnel. 
and we're going to the so-called Half Moon Battery now. Fantastic view from here. And the lighthouse is called St. Anthony's Head. This is probably very hard to see, but on the other side, well, you see St. Moore's here, and there is St. Moore's Castle, which is the partner yes. of Pendennis yes, Castle. identical form. Yeah, also run or looked after by English Heritage. Yeah. And you can take the ferry, this is a small ferry, uh, from Falmouth and go to St. Moore's. Yes. So, yeah. I think it's a two and a half, two and a half, two and a half mile it's crossing. Yeah, and regarding the harbour in Falmouthjörg, yeah. what does it say? It's the third biggest deep water harbour. Yeah. Natural deep water harbour. Yeah. Now the guide said uh, there are only the bigger ones in Rio and in Sydney. Wow. I never knew that. No, because I mean Falmouth is tiny yeah. compared to yeah. Sydney. Yeah. So and you don't see big ships here. I think, you know, we will no. check it out. We yeah, will check we'll it out, yeah. We're inside of the tower again, and I just said to Jörg, <laughs> don't laugh at me, but this would be a lovely dining room, wouldn't it? So we just came back to the cottage because I wanted to change my, my top. It's a strappy top as well, but it has short sleeves, so it's not as warm. Changed the <laughs> scarf as well. And now it started to rain a, a bit, and we said, you know what? Let's have a tea and we're going to dry the smuggler's brew. Have you ever tried that one, Jörg? No, no. As I said, I'm a lot abiding citizen. I don't smuggle. No, we've never smuggled, but we can pretend that we are smuggled. I mean, it is, we, we tend to say it's pulled up country and we, afterwards, we want to go down to Falmouth. Whether it's raining or not, we don't care. And we have another thing on the list that has to do with Paul Doug. And we will see if we have enough time left for today. But let's try the smugglers proof first. And then we can let you know how it tastes. So now give it a try. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's quite good. You have to try it and... <laughs> Tell me what, what you think. I think it's not as strong. I, I think it's not as strong as Yorkshire tea. I don't think. Good. Yeah, I like it. Yes, I want to see your reaction. Mm, it's good. It's not as strong as Yorkshire. Yeah, but it's a good brew. Yeah, it is. It is very good. Can we get it at home? Like in no, the I've never seen it in the shops. Never seen it. Hmm. We should get some more. <laughs> yeah. So what we haven't showed you, we also have a little garden here. And it's actually really, really pretty. So you have to open the door. It's really, really pretty. It even has a, like a barbecue grill from the German brand Weber. So there you go. This is the private garden. And where's the barbecue? I haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh, right. I think this is it's wonderful. And look at the colors. This is gorgeous. 
This is the entrance to the castle. Yeah, and we have the keys. We do. <laughs> and now we will go down to Falmouth and explore that a little bit. It stopped raining and now we will walk down to Falmouth. And you said it's a little bit more than a mile. Yes. So yes. One and a half miles. Yeah, it's good. And this is where you can buy your ferry tickets to St. Moore's. See, there is a ferry coming in from St. Moore's. And at first we were thinking of doing that, but we're doing another boat trip on Monday. Yeah, so we're not doing this one. Look what we have here. Ice latte with extra vanilla. Yeah, with vanilla syrup. That looks wonderful. This is so good. This is amazing. Mm. So this place is called Ovis, I think. And they even have gluten-free pasties. This is the reason why we came here. I ordered a gluten-free pasty for me. So great. I ordered mine with almond milk and it's so yummy. This is a gluten-free cheese and onion pasty. Never had one before. But it looks good. It does look good, yeah? Yeah, it has a regular pasty. And you have to have a pasta in Cornwall. Enjoy. How is it? Good. Yeah, can I just spotted a house? That looks beautiful. See the hat with the blue windows? The view from up there must be incredible. Yeah. This is the house with the blue windows. I'm not sure if you can see it. I don't want to get any closer. And this is the view from the house. My goodness. Beautiful. Walking uphill. And the funny thing is, the sun is out and it's out all the time, despite the weather forecast. The weather forecast said cloudy, rainy, and it's amazing. You can't rely on weather forecast these days, can you? We're back at our cottage and we want to visit a very special place. Yeah, a place which was used for as a Poldark film location. Yeah, so excited to see that. And you will see that in the next part. So stay tuned. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.